Right guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got a beer from Stürtebecker. And uh, yeah, this is the Roggenweizen, which is a rye re wheat beer. Clocking in at 5.4%. Uh, the hops used are Smar Smaragad, I think. And uh, yeah, it uses roasted malts, caramel malts, um, wheat malts, and uh, rye malts, and of course, rye wheat. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've had a few pieces from this brewery, got off to a great start, and um, yeah, you could pick up a six pack of a uh, few of their beers, uh, which I did. And uh, yeah, I drank most of them when we were playing a drinking game, which I made the mistake of drinking the Schwarz beer, uh, which is really like coffee and chocolatey and smoky. And uh, yeah, drinking that when you're playing a drinking game wasn't the best decision of my life. Uh, but it was a nice beer. They were all solid beers, but I've got two left, so I thought I would uh, get them reviewed. So yeah. You guys know by now that I'm not the biggest wheat beer fan, but when there's something a little bit different about the style, then I'm happy to give it a try. And uh, yeah, I think I have actually had this one before, uh, maybe a couple of years ago, because like I said, you can pick up a six pack of the like the core range, and they also do like a, a an Atlantic ale, which thinks like a pale ale, which um, yeah, it's a bit pricey from what I've seen. Uh, but then again, the availability could be a little bit different. Than compared to other places in Germany. But yeah, nice looking label, nice and rustic. And then you've got a nice little label going across the neck of the bottle. And then there is the pretty little crown. So uh, yeah, it's really, really nicely presented. And it's in a 500ml bottle. So it's great to see these like different beers in 500ml bottles. But uh, yeah, looking forward to trying this one nice amount of smoke there let's use the wheat beer glass don't use this glass often and uh, yeah that's pouring like I was expecting it to not too like dark and intensely brown it's a bit more murkier almost looks sort of like um, it's going to sound like a detriment but it's not it almost reminds me of like um, you know when they're doing work on the pipes and you like run your water and this like brown stuff comes out with all like the rust and that sort of stuff uh, that's what it sort of reminds me of like a really pale cola almost reminds me of um, like a cola orange drink as well but yeah it's murky it's got a slight toffee look to it uh, very very hazy very very dense but pale at the same time and uh, yeah the beer poured with about two fingers worth of fluffy almost like soap bubble head and uh, yeah definitely going to be an unfiltered beer and you can see a few bits and bobs hanging around in the glass not sure how well you'll be able to see that on camera but yeah there's like that slight like cola orange hue to it but uh yeah not had too many rye based wheat beers but the ones i've had have been interesting enough and uh yeah certainly looks good so far let's see what it smells like it's you know a wheat beer that's pretty much what you're getting you definitely definitely pick up that rye in there almost smells like um not like a, a baked rye bread but the mixture of a rye bread it's got that dank earthiness there but yeah that wheat is really really quite intense on the nose there's a slight toffee caramel sort of flavour as well. Maybe a hint of vanilla also. But yeah, get a little bit of like chestnuts as well. But yeah, earthy. Slightly sweet, almost that like sickly fermented sweet. Almost like a red berry sort of um, aroma to it. But yeah, very, very flavourful on the palate. And uh, yeah, let's see if it's as flavourful 
Very flavourful on the nose. Let's see how flavourful it is on the palate. I haven't recorded a beer review for quite a while because I've got such a bad plug, so that's why I'm a little bit more rustier than usual. Anyway, let's give this a taste. Cheers. I've got to say, not the most pleasant taste in beer. It's got like a, a hint of sourness to it, and I'm getting that impression of like um, like fermented, slightly sweet berries, that sort of thing, where they've been left a little bit too long. Definitely, definitely pick up the, the wheat on the palate. You get that rye flavour, almost like a crust of a rye bread in there as well. Yeah, it's just got like this nutty sourness about it as well. It's not an horrific taste in beer. But if you're not a fan of wheat beers, then you're probably not going to enjoy this one. But in terms of like the mouthfeel... It's surprisingly light and uh, fizzy on the palate, with a slight, slight um, like brown sugar, molasses sort of, almost treacle-like feel on the back of the tongue. But as it goes down, um, it's a bit more heavier. So it's definitely a beer that you could not, well, you probably could, but I wouldn't advise that you could down it. This is one that you rarely do take your time with. Um, I'd. I mean, I'm going to finish the rest of this, but it's not the greatest beer that I've had. But that's because wheat beers really aren't my thing. And this isn't really doing much for me. Um, and when you look at it like that, it almost looks a bit flat now. Because that head is dissipated. But uh, yeah, nicely carbonated, I'd say. Not too carbonated, not too flat. It looks flat, it doesn't taste flat. But it's not got that body that I was expecting it to have. Get a slight watery coffee flavour in there as well. And there's almost like a slight peaty Rauchbier, Schlenkerle Rauchbier esque smokiness. That like smoked meat sort of flavour on the back end. Yeah, I'm not really digging this one, to be honest. Um, it's definitely my least favourite of the six that I tried so far. The regular wheat beer was quite nice. But, um, yeah, this isn't really doing it for me, I'm afraid. It's not a bad beer. Yeah, don't misconstrue me uh, thinking that this is a really badly made beer. It's got, it's got that quality to it, but I've tasted the other right based wheat beers that I've tried. I've had a little bit more character to it. It just tastes a little bit watered down to me and it's the flavours of and the characteristics of the wheat beer that I don't like that actually really shine through. But if you're a fan of wheat beers, I definitely recommend you give it a try. Uh, some people will probably absolutely love this stuff. Uh, this is going to be perfect with like a roast dinner, that sort of thing. Just something to sit, sup uh, slowly with your meal, nice hearty steak. I mean, we're going to have goulash tonight, so it would work well with that. But um, yeah, as a sessionable beer, um, yeah, it's it's just a little bit too heavy and a little bit too light at the same time. It's just very very strange to me. But uh, yeah, if you see it about, I definitely give it a go if you're into your wheat beers and if you like your rye based beers. The the rye flavors in that are nice. I do like a rye bread. But, yeah, there's just, it's just not doing it for me. So in terms of a rating, it's a 6 out of 10 from me for uh, the Roggen Weizen from Stürtebecker. Uh, these guys are out of Stralsund, is that? But yeah, there's some information on the back. I'll put links down below so you can find out a bit more about the beer. 
and uh, about the brewery itself and I've just squished my eye. So if you've tried this beer let me know your thoughts opinions, uh, what's your favourite wheat beers, rye beers, that sort of thing and uh, yeah subscribe for more beer reviews. So thank you guys for watching and I shall see you later.